What are you waiting for? Like, you know what time it is. Come on, let's do it. Now we're in the present moment. My king, my queen. Now you. Yes, you can sit back and relax. While I sow this positive energy and positive content on so you feel me? And the length of this video is 12-12. The synchronicities and angels of risk. That's how you know something good. That's how you know this video is gonna help somebody, bro. But hold up. Let me set this down because like I know I'm I know I, I have bad I know I have bad memory, but like I I feel like I'm forgetting something. Psych, we never we never ever forget to express gratitude over here. You ready? Come on, let's do it. Let's take a moment and be grateful. Let's be grateful to the fact that God, universe, let us see another day today. Because you got to realize, it's Wednesday, right? But some people passed yesterday on Tuesday, and they didn't know the last Wednesday was going to be the last Wednesday they ever saw in their life. Mmm, left side. Mmm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. Woo, you felt that because I know I did. But for real, you got to take that into perspective, bro. You got to be grateful that your family's in good health today. You got to be grateful that you're in good health today. If both of those things are already true, if today's already a W. Today's already amazing. There's no excuse for it not to be. Also, talk about no excuse. You got to realize there's people in India, bro. When they go home to sleep, say, hey, honey, I'm finally going to sleep. Okay, Okay, dear, no worries. They go and sleep, right? They go and sleep in a sewage pipe. A sewage pipe. An actual sewage pipe. A family of five sleeping in there. When you get to go home go home and sleep in your nice, warm, cozy, comfortable bed, you got all the blankets, you got snacks, watch Netflix, air conditioning, fan on, you got all that. You're comfortable. You're not entitled to that. You got to realize you don't have to have a bed, but you do. Be grateful. And not to mention the food and water. You could toss out half your fridge and still have food in there, bro. Be grateful. Again, in India, I literally saw a video. Kids digging out of muddy trash just to get a little piece of food, bro. Be grateful. You gotta real again, you gotta realize, bro, with the water. You go pour out five water bottles worth of water. Do it with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Get it all out. Bro, there's 300 million people in India who don't even have running water. And not to mention the fact that the water they drink, imagine grabbing some dirty mud, boom, drop it in your water, boom. That's, that, that's what you got to drink. You don't get a choice. Come on, bro. You got to be grateful. You have, you, you have a clean water. You, not to mention running water. You have electricity. You have air conditioning. You're not entitled to that. You're not entitled to that at all. Yeah, you have both. Yeah, my bad. Slow down. You got both your parents. You got your siblings, bro. You made it to where you need to be safely in your car. You made it home safely. That's a W, bro. Oh, yeah. And let's say you, you got stuck in traffic, right? Let's say you got stuck in traffic, and then you're like, oh, man, I was, I, I'm stuck in traffic. It sucks. No, it doesn't. Because guess what? What if you went and you weren't stuck in traffic, and you got in a car accident, and it, boom, you died? You got to take things into perspective, bro. you are be able to hear arms, legs. You can speak. You can see. Close your eyes right now. Do it. I'm at, this is how people who are blind see the world every single day. That's not, bro. Be grateful. I'm not tied to my vision. I can lose my sense, my sense of sight within the next two minutes, bro. I'm not entitled to it. That's why I'm, that's one, that's also one reason I'm always happy, but uh, enough talk. Uh, hold up, hold up. Enough talk, enough said. Let's get right into this video, bro. Now, the title of this video is called Vision It. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. <clears throat> get out, throw talk, we're going. Now, the word vision means to think about a plan. Bye bye. The word vision means to think or plan about the future with imagination and wisdom. Regardless of what that vision may be, whether it be to get that new car you want, that dream job, that dream house, go to the NBA, be a designer of some kind, a YouTuber, regardless of whatever it may be, we all have, we all have something in mind, right? Now, however, this vision may seem far away right now, but you have to remember, we are getting closer and closer to that vision every single day. We are getting closer and closer to that vision, to that goal. One thing that blurs our vision is how other people see our vision. And since they see it through a whole different perspective, they see it through their own vision, 
they might think our vision is silly or a waste of time. When you know your vision is not, when you know your vision is not a waste of time. You know it's not, but they don't. And because it is happening, this can have a drastic effect on us and cause our vision to get nearsighted. And if you don't know what nearsighted means, nearsighted means you can't see far away. So now since these people are coming out to you and they don't see what you see, you're thinking, oh man, my dream's too far away. I you're thinking to yourself like, I can't reach that. I can't do that. But that's, bro, that's a lie. You can do it. I'm telling you, you can. You have to, oh my gosh. This is going to hit y'all right now. Again, as I said before, we have to remember that we, we are the only ones who can see our vision. Mmm, left side, mmm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. Woo, you felt that. I know I did. We have to remember that we are the only ones who can see our vision. We are the only people who can see our vision, bro. How you gonna let someone tell you, tell you otherwise? Don't make sense, right? I know it don't. Look at the glow. <laughs> now, we have to trust our own process and not get jealous of others and know that our time will come. Trust me, it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take patience. You got to have that trust. It's going to take accountability. When you mess up, you own it. You don't blame that on nobody else. You own that mistake. You own that win. You you own that L. You own, you uh my bad. You own that L. You own that W. Where was I? Where was I? Oh yeah. After accountability, of course, it's gonna take faith in God, faith in the universe. What Allah, Job, whatever you want to say, bro. It takes faith in God, and also this has to be one of the most important things: believing in yourself to get to where you want to be in life, to get to that dream. Because you can't go and just put yourself out there and say, "I'm gonna do this," but not believe. What you're saying. Me personally, bro, I go and make these positive, uplifting videos to go inspire one million people. That's my dream. And guess what? I believe in myself and I believe a hundred percent of what I'm saying is true. It's factual. I believe that strongly. Take this positive energy. Boom. Woo! Oh, that wasn't good enough. Take this positive energy. Boom. You feel that? I know I did. I know you feel my energy right now. Also, to add on to what I was saying beforehand, you cannot. And I mean this. You cannot fake it until you make it. Mm, left side. Hold up. Mm, hold up. Mm, left side. Mm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. When I close my eyes right there, I just open them saying, wow, I got vision. Be grateful. Again, you cannot fake it until you make it. Like, on here, bro, imagine if, if I was the kind of person who went and just faked positivity. I can't fake it until I make it, bro. Being authentic is key to your vision, key to achieving your vision. You can't go and just say, you can't go and just have that car that, you can't go have that BMW knowing you cannot afford that. You can't go and have that Birkins bag knowing you cannot afford that. You can't go and just have those, those, those new 12s, th those new J's knowing you can't afford that, bro. Stop trying to be a people pleaser and like make people think you're winning, but behind the camera, Ain't nothing happening behind there, bro. Being authentic is key to your vision and to your success. Is that that's just something that should be taught in life? Being authentic is key. Now, lastly, 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 you have to live your vision. Live your vision. What do you mean? Let me tell you. When I say live your vision, I mean live life. I mean live life. Live every day. Live every moment. As if you already are living your dream. Mmm, left side, mmm, right side. Take this positive energy, boom, woo, I love it. When you do this, when you do this, you get yourself in the type of mindset as if you're already there. So when you do this in the present, it will make a, uh, my bad. So when you do this in the present, it will make your future even better. And I personally do this myself, bro. Every single night, I, Every single rising, when I when I get, I get to see another day gratefully. Ho hopefully, I can tomorrow. Cause, bro, I go to tell myself I am going to inspire one million plus people to be positive in the next five years, or at least one million. Cause you have to tell that to yourself and believe it. I live, bro. As I'm making this YouTube video, I see my, I see my subscriber count as one million. 
people I've helped. That's what I see it as. You got to see yourself already in that position in life. You got to see yourself driving that car. Close your eyes and visualize yourself driving that car you want. Go and close your eyes and imagine yourself designing that company, making those shirts that you want. You got to go and close your eyes and imagine yourself playing basketball. Oh, he in the game winner. Game seven of the NBA Finals for that ring. You have to have this vision of you being where you want to be in life. And also, most importantly, when not was the point, but it is really important. You have to be your number one fan. You must, 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 must be your number one supporter. You got to be the fir first person to comment on your videos, the first person to promote your stuff, bro. Because you have to be your number one fan. And also, to go back on what I was saying before about trusting your process. Not someone, not looking at someone else's process, trusting your process. Why would you go and try to be like, oh, man, they're... Their castle's bigger than mine when that time you're wasting focusing on them can be spent on you building your castle in your kingdom. Mmm, left side. Mmm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. Woo! You felt that? Because you got to think about You got to trust your process. That's why it's called your process, bro. I trust my process. Someone could go, could be going making positive views just like me and then they go and hit 1 million subs tomorrow off a of world trending video. I'm not going to be mad or irritated. I'm going to be happy for them. And I'm not going to be, and there is no, I'm happy for them, but nope, just happy because I know my time will come because I trust my process. Now, I'm going to leave you all off with these two quotes. You ready? Let's do it. Always practice positive thinking and gratitude as often as possible. Mmm, left side, mmm, right side, take this positive energy, boom. You feel me? And also, believe you're the best at what you do. I believe I'm the most inspirational person on YouTube. I strongly believe that because you gotta have the type of mindset, just, just, just like you. My bad. Just like you're an NBA player, you gotta believe you're, you're better than LeBron. Comment one thing you're grateful for and how you're doing. Peace. I love you so much, bro.